Pterodactyl here. Today we're going to see if this snowblower will start after it had been stored without any gas in it. So the customer ran this thing out of gas and then stored it. And then he brought it in. And we're going to see what's in the carburetor after storage. Then we're going to put gas, some fresh gas in it. And we're going to see if it starts. All right, now see, there's a little bit of nastiness down in there. That's because when you run these things out of gas, it'll run out of gas, but yet there'll still be a small amount of fuel in the bowl. And then when that evaporates, that leaves all this behind. So we're not gonna clean that out. We're just gonna go ahead and put the float bowl back on. I just wanted to show you what's inside the bowl. We're gonna put this back on. We're gonna put some fresh fuel in it and we're gonna see if it'll start and stay running. Now did I also mention that this uh, snowblower hasn't ran in about five years. They stored it like five years ago. That was the last time we had some good snow. So I got some fresh dinosaur syrup and dinosaur juice. Mix together, 50 to 1. Put the choke on. Pump it a bunch of times. like uh, Fluffy was in there having a little uh, sunflower seed fest. See all them sunflower seeds? they shooting out a muffkin. <laughs> That's amazing how a mouse can get inside that little tiny hole like that. Well, I'm gonna drop the bowl anyway and spray it out to get that, that residue that's in there out of there. But yeah, there you go. Storing it dry, running it till it runs out of gas and then uh, parking it for five years, that works. So subscribe to this YouTube channel, Terrell Fixes All, I'm Terrell, Crazy Hillbilly. Go to our web store and buy some stuff. You gotta run there like this to our web store and get some stuff. Follow me, Facebook and Instagram. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! Store